Hi there, this is Mike Berman with Focal Point Photography LLC in Appleton, Wisconsin, and I just wanted to make this quick video for those uh, real estate photographers like myself or others who may be in situations where you're outside, you have to shoot in a blizzard or in snow, and it's just a mess, and the, 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 the photo shoot's not going to be rescheduled, and you have to take outside pictures. And I was as I was driving to this property this morning, it was fine when I left the house, 30 minutes south of me as I got closer, the snow just got bigger, the snowflakes got bigger, and I just thought, here we go again. But as I was driving down there, I was thinking, I wonder if this this tip would work. I wonder if this would work in, in Photoshop. So, and it ended up working a lot better than I thought it would. But what I do is, and I know this isn't an ideal house, it's, you know, it's a ground level, it's it's not, but you just get in those situations where you just got to get the job done. Um, no matter what the size of the property is or how great it is, you've got to make the shots as good as possible. So what you do is you put your camera, um, you don't put it in single shot. This is in, this is in high speed mode. So it's taking a lot of shots. I'm using a Sony a6300 camera. Um, and I have, uh, multiple shots here in Lightroom. And as you scroll through, you can see the snowflakes in, in different areas. Uh, there's about eight shots here. Um, about four hundredth of a second it looks like this was taken at, which should be plenty of fine. So I'm going to just take three of them and I am going to open them up as layers in Photoshop. I have eight of them. I didn't know how many I would need. I figured three would be a good starting point. I, you could always open four or five, but this, this could work even if you only have two. Um, if you want to be on the safe side, if you don't trust yourself hand holding, you don't think the shutter speed was fast enough, you could always align the layers just to be sure everything's lined up perfectly. Let it do that. See if there's any adjustments. Very little, but there were some. So then what you do is, it doesn't really matter what order these are in. Here's the first one. There's snow everywhere. You go to your second one, you highlight it, and then you make a layer mask and you change the blend mode to darken. And there goes probably 80 to 90% of the snow uh, because now any of the pixels that are darker than the snow from the layer underneath from this one, the darkest pixels will show up, which is there. And that takes care of the house and the tree and the sidewalk and, and pretty much everything. There's some stuff over here on the left that didn't go away. If I really wanted to be nitpicky, I could probably do the same thing again with the third image and see if it got a little bit better. It did, the left side definitely got a little bit better. Um, and if I needed to go four or five, I could certainly do that. But this, considering this is where I started, I didn't have a choice and you gotta shoot in this, in this blizzard. Um, just to take those shots and open them up in as layers in Photoshop, make an adjustment layer and change the blend mode to darken. And that basically looks like there was no snow whatsoever. So, and then you just close this down and it will save it into Lightroom. And then you can do just kind of your, your normal, uh, um, editing that you would do to the front shot. So that's my tip. I hope that helps you real estate shooters out there and anyone else that has to deal with stuff like this. So until spring comes around, hang in there, keep shooting. Hope this helps. We'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.